Our next girth is a waist girth. So for this girth we're going to be finding the smallest point on the torso between the bottom of the ribs and the top of the hip. Um, it's important here that we talk to the client about what they're comfortable doing. Uh, some clients will be happy to take their shirt off or move their clothing up so that they can see their torso, but that's not always going to be required. If the client is not comfortable doing that, they can actually leave their clothing on and we can actually get them to pull their shirt tight so that we can see the smallest point on their torso. And that's what we're going to do today with Weston. So, to measure this girth, we either need to measure from the front or from behind because we need to be able to see where this smallest point is. Um, I would avoid using uh, a girth measurement from the front because you're really going to be invading their personal space and you might put yourself into a position that might feel like you've compromised yourself a little bit. So we're going to measure this one from behind. So first thing I'm going to ask Weston to do is to pull his shirt a little bit tighter. You can do that by pull, tucking it in at the back so that we can see where the smallest point on his torso is, which is there. What I'll also get Weston to do is to pass the tape around his body so that I don't invade his personal space. And I just need to make sure that that tape is in that correct position and that that tape is horizontal. Once I've got the tape in the correct position, Weston, you can relax your shirt now, you can relax your arms, stand nice and comfortable, and I take my waist measurement.